Buhay Online Sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online Buhay Online Sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami Si J. C. Bautista Oh my goodness, I am so sorry Hello, hello, hello My goodness, you know, I was broadcasting for the past 15 minutes on my personal Facebook page I'm so sorry Maganda magandang umaga po Welcome to Buhay Online All right, This is Jay Bautista Oh, I was wondering why Till I noticed, I said, what? I couldn't find anybody online. But anyway, welcome po ulit. Pasensya na po. Nakapag-onboard ako kanina, pero dun po sa aking personal Facebook page. So sorry, but I'm here po. Happy Thursday to everyone. Okay? And I was just talking about, uh, okay, ito pong aking pang napag-usapan today is itong DepEd. TV records 13.91 million users, okay? Ang DepEd TV, okay? Uh, magandang balita po ito, of course, all right? Para sa lahat, okay? Uh, that's my first news of the day. Um, uh, as I was uh, saying kanina na, na sinabi ko na dun sa kabilang sa kabilang ano ko platform uh DepEd TV record DepEd TV records 13.91 million users okay all right yung Department of Education or DepEd is eyeing to further expand the reach of DepEd TV after recording 13.91 million learners who were able to access the agency's television based learning platform in the previous school year okay meaning okay the ba ang pag-aaral natin ay uh, in in place of uh, face-to-face education ay apat na ways, all right? Which is online learning pra, uh, using the internet sa bahay or Wi-Fi or any or, or data sa telepono ng mga mga bata, and also the next one is modular education, which is they are given they use physical handouts. Uh, Uh, wherein the student is given a weekly task of completing those modules. Tapos yung mga magulang, they meet with a teacher so that they can uh, they receive the, the school materials and then they submit it at the end of the week with the completed tasks or homework. Yun yung modular para sa mga walang internet. And of course, there's Depth Ed TV and radio, okay? Radio broadcasting also of the lessons, all right? So, um, Because they uh, they have seen the of course the bigger the majority seems to be of course people who are are watching uh, or watching their lessons on TV. So sabi ng uh, sabi ni Under Secretary for Administration Elaine Del Pasco, we emphasize the need to maximize the use of uh, Dep Ed TV as part of the learning delivery modalities under the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan as this is one of the most widely available modalities for distance learning, okay? DepEd TV provides an avenue to accommodate the different learning styles, different learning styles of listeners. The episodes were designed with more interactive components to capture and sustain learners' interest while attaining the targeted competencies, okay? So, yan nga talaga, di ba? Uh, never pa natin napag-usapan tungkol sa Dep and TV, lagi na lang online education computer. Ito pala o, oh, ito pala ang mas maraming na na natuturuan, okay? Mas maraming reach. So now the Dep Ed wants to to further or extend the the reach of uh, Dep and TV. Bakit naman hindi, right? Kung marami naman talagang mas nag, nag-aaral using TV, right? Uh, DepEd provides an avenue to accommodate the different learning styles of learners. The episodes are designed kasi to be more interactive now. In line with this, for school year 2021-2022, the offices of undersecretaries for administration, curriculum and instruction, and field operations released joint memorandum 00.2 and uh, 
S.2021, encouraging all regional and division personnel to actively promote the use of DepEd TV and DepEd Radio. Ito yung radio-based instructions naman or learning alongside other distance learning modalities to maximize learners' learning experience. Naalala ko nga nung bata ko, right? Noon, nung araw pa may de- merong ano eh, TV, edu- TV learning. And, but when I was a kid, when I was a child, I thought that w- those those people teaching online like education home home tv or tv tv schooling whatever i thought they were actually talking to me and and when i responded you know and there was an interactive maybe canned response i thought the, those teachers were really really talking to me when i was a child but of course now there's more interactive things because of technology we really see the teacher and they really respond better before in, on tv of course you know that you know those are already pre-recorded classes, right? Okay, so so now, all right. Uh, mm-hmm. Why can't I see myself on Facebook? But anyway, I hope I'm broadcasting fine, right? Uh, all right, so I don't see the names of people watching me and then my phone is not bringing up the... <laughs> the page but maraming salamat sa mga sumasama sa akin ngayon dito sa programa pasensya po so sorry kanina kung kala niyo wala ako dito i actually went on board or online or live stream from my personal facebook page sorry sorry but anyway so that's the news about uh dep ed okay and and uh dep ed tv okay that's the news about dep ed tv Okay, na merong move ang web eh, para expand pa ang reach of course nitong uh, TV learning all right very good okay again okay facebook keeps being on the limelight uh, in the limelight because of the controversies that are involved with facebook regarding the uh, whistleblower but okay now, okay, Facebook plans to change its its name. Can you believe it? Facebook plans to change its name to The Verb. Parang hindi naman, just ko. The Verb. Social media giant Facebook is planning to rebrand itself with a new name next week. Ay, so to reflect its focus on building the metaverse. Remember the metaverse that I mentioned yesterday? Metaverse is, uh, ito si Mark uh, Zuckerberg wants to create a virtual world more than 3D, it's a virtual reality, ano na, magiging virtual 3D na yung ano, Facebook. Para ka naglalaro ng game pag sumali ka, right? The, okay. Uh, the Verge reported on Tuesday, citing a source with direct knowledge of the matter. Facebook Chief Executive Officer Mark Zuckerberg plans to talk about the name change at the company's annual Connect conference on October 28th, but it could be unveiled sooner, The Verge reported. A metaverse refers to shared virtual world environments. Yun yung pinag-usapan ko kahapon. Okay, let me see if I can find something na ang itsura is ganyan. Okay, Facebook and metaverse. Okay, see, the, ito ang ka, in, kabutihan ng technology because you can broadcast, you can talk, you can research while doing so. All right. Ah, let me see. Uh huh. Metaverse. Uh, somehow it's like this. I think it's somewhat like this. All right. Let me just show you. Metaverse is a virtual world. Okay. Okay. Let me. Let me just grab. Oops, sorry. Okay, there's our cat. Okay, all right. So here it is. Okay. So Facebook wants to rebrand itself to match the this uh, new metaverse thing that uh, he wants to put. It's going to be more interactive and more but it more looks like a game all right hold on a second okay essential na po uh, topics okay. 
there you go here it is okay so facebook would somewhat is somewhat gonna look like this all right look at this see that's it see there you go it, it looks like gaming right so that's what it's gonna look like okay the metaverse that they're talking about right so uh, hold on a second okay it wants to change its name okay facebook wants to change its name all right uh they're planning to change their name because facebook Ch chief executive officer mark zuckerberg plans to talk about this name change uh, at the conference on october 28th a metaverse refers to shared virtual world environments wherein people can access via the internet the term can refer to digital spaces which are made more lifelike by the use of virtual reality or augmented reality this is a vr or ar that we're talking about the rebranding would likely position facebook's social media app as one of the many products under a parent company which will oversee groups like instagram whatsapp oculus and more and of course he's acquiring more companies so dami ng pera ng tao na ito right the report added facebook said it does not comment on a rumor or speculation this is really going to happen all right that uh he wants uh to change uh, the name of Facebook eventually. Uh, and uh, the news that, that I said before was that Facebook plans to hire 10,000 in uh, Europe to build Metaverse. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, okay. Hold on a second. Okay, so um, so that's the news. Okay, there are some people that are speculating about this name change of Facebook because right because of the right they're in smack in the middle of a controversy. Some people said changing Facebook's name will not deter law lawmakers or regulatory scrutiny. Experts say okay, renaming Facebook isn't unlikely to enable the tech giant to distance itself from regulatory and public scrutiny around the potential harms caused by its social media apps, marketing and branding experts told Reuters today, okay? Tech publication The Verb reported on Tuesday that the California-based firm is planning to change its corporate branding to reflect that as well as owning the social media platform that made it a global household name. It also now includes other thriving businesses, okay? Facebook owns also Instagram, WhatsApp, and Oculus. The company declined to co comment regarding the report on the possible rebranding. It did not immediately respond to a request for comments regarding this story. Because right now, Daba, uh, we all know that Facebook is battling intense scrutiny after the whistleblower leaked thousands of internal documents that showed it contributed to increased po polarization online when it made changes to its content algorithm. It failed to take steps to reduce vaccine hesitancy and was aware that popular social media app Instagram harmed the mental health of teenage girls. So, ayan yung allegations eh. Na alam daw na, na bakit hindi na, what do you call this, na sa sensor masyado yung mga posts regarding anti-vaxxers or anti-vaccine. At the same time, yung Instagram, yan ang nag-encourage ng mental health problems to teenage girls and young people. Right? Uh... The U.S. Senate held a hearing earlier this month into the effect of Instagram on young users. Legislators and politicians okay, are sufficiently smart to not be fooled by a rebranding. Tong sabi ni James Cordwell, an internet analyst at Atlantic Equities. Okay? So yan. So sabi ng mga tao, renaming can be an effective strategy to allow subsidiary brands to maintain their own reputations, okay? Said Marissa Mulville, head of brand and activation at Profit, a branding and marketing consultancy. But the media and regulators are not going to stop investigating or creating reforms just because you rebranded, sabi nila. So, hindi, hindi ma matatanggal yung mga uh, present uh, ideas or connotation or regard or, or the impression that 
Facebook is having nowadays because of that whistleblower's information, leaked information. The new parent company could reflect Facebook's focus on building the metaverse. Referring to a proposed digital world where people can use different devices to move on and communicate in a virtual environment. So yung metaverse is as the parang ano yun talaga close to reality. Yun magiging ganon yung Facebook because it uh, it will uh, afford, afford people using uh, to use different devices to move and communicate in now uh, this virtual world. It could also prevent a possible negative perception around Facebook from affecting WhatsApp, the messaging app used by nearly 2 billion people globally, and Oculus, its virtual reality brand. Ito palang Oculus, Oculus ang bagong, ang bagong acquired ng Facebook. It's a virtual reality brand naman. According to Profit's annual ranking, Facebook's brand relevance to U.S. consumers has dropped over the past several years, okay? What you don't want is for that to proliferate and have a negative halo effect on other parts of your business, okay? Other major companies, other major companies have taken similar steps, okay? Google re reorganized under a holding company called Alphabet in 2015 as the company best known for internet searches, increasingly, increasingly pursued ambitions like autonomous driving technology, all right? In 2003, okay, cigarette seller Philip Morris rebranded itself, okay? Ito example nun. Ginawa ng Philip Morris, nirebrand niya ang sarili niya at, they, at tinawag nilang Altria. At the time when the company owned Kraft Foods, it later spun off the, the food division. While the move to rebrand as Altria didn't remove the negative connotations of tobacco from the cigarette brands itself, it did help to limit the effects on Kraft, okay? Facebook will continue to confront, uh, confront the same pressures even after a rebranding. Facebook is Facebook. I don't think it's going to help Facebook mitigate regulator scrutiny or the general public skepticism. If not, yung distress na nangyari dahil sa whistleblowing. Trust is something you need to earn. All right? Pag nawala yun, mahirap ibalik. Okay? So, uh, ayan. Uh, Pinapag-usapan, okay? In connection to that, okay? So, nag-iisip ng pangalan ang Facebook, pero abangan natin right in the next coming days what the, the final uh, name is for the rebranding of Facebook, okay? All right, so, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to field your questions uh, and uh, and also suggestions for uh, topics that you need to that you want to talk about here. All right. Uh, okay. And um, what's happening? Uh, topics that you want to talk about. Right. My 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 cell phone is not budging. There you go. All right. Hello there, Jake Alcantara. And now lang I see your name. Hello there, Miss Mala. Miss Mala, welcome, welcome to the show. Uh, pleasant day to you. Uh, Miss Mala is one of my colleagues in my online teaching. She's from South Africa. I want to welcome you to the show. And of course, Jake, so sorry. Uh, I made a mistake this morning. I was broadcasting from my personal Facebook site. But we have Miss Mala from Africa here joining us too. And of course, Jake and the others that I don't see the names. But I was just talking about how Facebook is intending to change its name. All right. And of course, the next topic for discussion today, all right, is... Uh, the top, the the the, top, the benefits of artificial intelligence, right? I had a uh, somebody email me regarding artificial intelligence, which I said was going to be a different episode altogether because there's a lot of things to talk about about artificial intelligence. We will tackle that perhaps maybe next week. Okay. Uh, uh, today, I want to talk about because we talked about cyber crimes and cybersecurity. Uh, some people said, uh, somebody emailed me and said, you know, the, the old people are being uh, victimized uh, online, right? And how do we deal with that, okay? Today, I'd like to talk about 
Now, how to protect our elderly from online scams, all right? Okay, with the, the time that we have, okay, let's talk about how to protect our elderly from online scams, okay? okay? Oops, what did I do? Okay, there you go. This is the next topic we have. Okay, protecting the earth our elderly from online scams okay so sorry that i have to do it online with you okay there you go how to protect our elderly from online scams all right uh, while it looks like senior citizens are often a target of cyber criminals of course well it, 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 it hasn't changed because through the years even without technology before the the senior citizens were being targeted by scams through the telephone right they uh they get calls from people asking them to give their information or or um, they say they won in the lottery now this is being done online all right so while it looks like senior citizens are the target the truth is bad guys are randomly looking for people they could scam online right uh, cyber criminals do not discriminate based on race, religion, nationality, color, sexual orientation, social class, economic status, disability, or age. Scammers do not care if you're young or old, right? That's the bottom line. Yan ang katotohanan na walang pinipiling edad ang, pang, ang pangloloko, right? They just target anybody randomly, okay? As long as you do not take good care of your online accounts, expect that someone will attempt to steal these accounts from you. Many senior citizens have become victims of cybercrime because of nature. They are trusting, polite, and most of the time, longing for someone to be with them. Unfortunately, cyber criminals exploit this goodness in our parents and grandparents. Okay? Okay? This trusting nature, coupled with the cyber criminals' manipulative and skillful Fishing techniques could spell disaster for the seniors and us. Okay, being a victim of cybercrime is like having COVID nineteen. I'm so sorry, but to just compare it like that. Once infected, it is not only the seniors who could be affected, but also the people that are living with them who or who are close to them. It could be a pandemic too, I guess. These are the people they regularly engage with on social media, their family, friends, and relatives. Okay. If you have seniors at home who regularly use the internet, you need to guide and remind them that, like in real life, ordinary users have become the target of cyber criminals. Internet users get daily threats and attacks that sometimes they don't know that their accounts have already been compromised, right? Hindi talaga nila alam, clueless sila. Wala naman. Iba nga, diba? It, took, it was painstaking enough to teach our uh, our elders how to use the computer, how to even type in the computer, much less hindi nila naiintindihan kung nahahack na sila, right? So here are uh, common elder fraud schemes that could be used against our seniors, okay? I will I will talk about this today. Unang-una na again are the love scams, okay? Those those romantic scams or romantic uh Romantic scam thing. Loneliness, okay, especially in this pandemic, is prevailing, okay? Loneliness amid this the pa pandemic is real. And scammers know this. People are lonely. People get depressed because of this pandemic. So criminals pose as interested romantic partners on Facebook or wherever platform to capitalize on the senior's desire to find companions or to have someone to talk to, right? Once they get the senior's trust, they would then ask for money and then disappear, diba? Mabilis pa sa alas kwarto yan nagtatakbo na pagkatapos na makakuha ng biktima, right? Account failure scam, all right? This is another one, account failure scam. This scam is one of the most successful scams used against elderly people in the internet, okay? Usually, they, they are sent via email and using a fake email address, okay? The scammers ask the potential victim to immediately update account information to avoid being locked out from the bank and other online service providers. This is what I mentioned before, that you get a, here in the Philippines, they're, they're, they're masking identities too. They're, they're using brands, legit brands and logos to, um, 
to uh to to tar- to to um uh, to uh what do you call this to to victimize right they're using noted for example your bank logo so make sure okay verify first before anything and like i said if it's it, if it's a bank or, or those uh institutions verify first and like bdo was say, saying that through an email or text your your bank will never ask you for information online never ask you to give your your um do you call this never ask you to give your account number again because they know that even in the emails right when they send you emails from your bank they never tell you uh they don't tell you that they don't say how would they call this they don't give the the, the complete the complete bank information to you number it's x out because of security all right uh okay so um yeah because of security they do not they do not they will not give you they will not ask you for that so be on the lookout for this kind of uh cyber criminals okay they usually send you an email with fake addresses because the scammers ask the potential victim to immediately update your account so don't do that your real bank or your real office will not ask you for that information online okay all it takes for the victim is to click and fill out the form from a link provided by the scammers okay uh information to avoid being locked out from banks and other online service providers don't do it don't click anymore because also when you click the attachments right like we said yesterday it will it will uh, it will allow you to have ransomware or, mal- or malware go into your system and steal your information cyber criminals could then take over your account all right so the other the one other crime is the nigerian scam that i talked about the other day this scam is an old modus but still effective in scamming elderly internet users all right because i know this has been really there for like many years maybe more than 10 years okay the scammer requests help in facilitating the transfer of a large amount of money ito na naman okay of course i will speak filipino for our for our foreigners who are online right now okay i'll, I'll speak uh, uh this is because ito yung mga nabibiktima uh yung matatanda kasi ito yung nakaka-receive ka ng mga sulat or email saying that na, merong merong taong maraming pera nakapagmana they want to share their wealth right but they need uh an account to or a person to share the money with okay it's like facilitating the transfer of a large amount of money in return they would offer to give the victim a commission if they help but they need their bank account details the scammers would then ask the potential victims to send money to pay some of the costs associated with the transfer the scammers would then disappear once the victim sent the money of course but like now nowadays these kind of scammers are also now on on facebook on gcash right or on lazada and shopee there are a lot of scammers like that on online uh, online shopping because uh, i've been victimized that way uh, i was you know my son is always laughing at me for for falling prey to these scammers because i purchased something and then the person said to give a deposit first uh, when, if, when it's supposedly cod or cash on uh, uh payment but then this person particularly asked i'm sorry excuse me pardon me but asked for 50 percent down payment it's a good thing it wasn't it didn't cost that much but as soon as i I, as I transferred the, the money in Gcash, I never saw the. I, I mean, well, I I saw the item; it was delivered, but it was like bogus. It wasn't even what I ordered. It was like it was a poor, mediocre copy of what was online that I saw. But anyway, so please, a uh, buyer beware. Caveat emptor. Okay, verify, verify first. Okay, okay. So <clears throat> that Nigerian scam. Do not do not uh even uh glorify their stupid uh emails or or the scammers would disappear after you send the money hello there joseph and your rockero we missed you thank you so much good uh good morning is it good afternoon where you are 
Uh, but 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 good morning, good morning, Josephine. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. It's nice to see you again. Maraming salamat for joining us today. Uh, sa aking pagkakamali sa pagpunta uh, ng na, ng platform kanina ng umaga. I'm sorry again. Okay, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're talking about the scams again online. But um, uh, another one is the tech support scam. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about how to protect our elderly against online scams, okay? Ito naman, yung mga tech support scam. Criminals pose as technical support representatives from an internet service provider, kunyari, no? Or, or a software company and offer to fix non-existent computer issues, okay? Okay, so kunyari may nagtatawag or nagtatext sa inyo, sabihin na, they will fix your problems, yung, yung mga malware kuno, or yung hacker, don't even engage them, okay? The scammers then would guide the victim to install something. The installed software would give them remote access to the victim's computers, allowing them to get their personal information and financial transactions. Ito na yung malware and ransomware, okay? So please, do not, do not engage. Investment scams. This scam usually comes from emails and instant messaging apps, okay? It would ask potential victims to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The scammers will offer an exaggerated return on investment rate and an assured profit. If the victims invest a larger amount, they will have more profit, of course. Once the victim gives the credit card details, the, the scammers would then use it for other purposes. In the next billing cycle, the seniors would have unauthorized charges on their credit card right away, right? So this is really, really sad. And this happens a lot to older people. That's why I don't give your CV codes, uh, CVC codes, the one, the, the numbers at the back of your credit cards, do not give it to anyone. And at the same time, okay, don't believe this uh, uh, get rich quick schemes, okay? What, uh, what other kind of scam? It's called the grandparent scam. What is a grandparent scam? The cyber criminals would pose as a child or grandchild claiming to be an amid, am, in immediate financial need. Well, it's not about grandparents too, no? Nowadays, a lot of people get scammed by this um, this identity theft, right? And like, like even on Facebook, on Messenger, recently, uh, uh, some people, if you if you get invitations or are asking requests to be your friends, and then you check it out, matagal mo na silang friends sa Facebook, biglang nagpapa-friend ulit. Please verify first. Pero kasi dito na nangyayari yung mga scammer na yan. Kunyari, asking for help, asking for for uh, to get a, to to have a loan. Okay, ganito yung grandparents scam too, all right? Uh, uh, they're asking for financial help. Once the criminals get the money, they would disappear or even try again if the crime was not reported, okay? For a safer internet experience for our, for our elderly at home, do this following suggestions. This is these are suggestions by law enforcement agencies. Okay, of course, in the Philippines, we now have the cyber crime unit of PNP where you can report such cyber crimes. But of course, uh, okay, this is what you do. Okay, number one, scammers create a sense of urgency to produce fear and lure victims into immediate action. Their call to action is immediate. Inform. Oh, inform your parents. Okay. In, Inform your parents. Ano ba yan? Talaga to mga nag intrude na to. Inform your parents. Uh, uh, okay. Inform your parents and grandparents to resist the pressure to act quickly. Okay. Tell tell your elderly. Do not respond right away to this urgent call for action. Okay. Tell them to call you first before doing anything. Right. That's right. Tell your grandma, your grandpa, your or your parents na tinuruan mong mag-internet or maggamit ng cellphone to, to to tell you first before responding to such call for uh, action, right? Number two, always remind our elders to avoid unsolicited phone calls, private messages, emails, and text messages. Ask them to forward to you the messages that they receive and the emails before answering them, right? That's a good way. Tell your elders to forward the emails and text messages to you before responding, okay? Number three, okay? 
warn the elderly from downloading files and opening email attachments. Tell them never double click on that attachment. Never double click on that link. Sometimes, you know, those videos and those whatevers are very convincing. Even on like Facebook, those ads and campaigns to um, to uh, for you to buy something or a product, there are scammers like that who actually even uh, copy uh, websites of people to make it look like it, like it's the original. Like like I said in the two weeks ago, McDonald's, the McDonald's order site was hacked. Um, not hacked, but copied. Uh, you know, there's like a I I put it side by side. I should show it another day, wherein you can order from them, and whatever what they're actually doing is trying to steal your your identification. So the McDonald's order site was hacked and. They created another one that looks exactly the same, all right? So warn your elderly from downloading files and opening email attachments. Palagi kayong maano, sabihin niyo sa kanila, huwag nilang buksan, huwag nilang i-click yung mga natatanggap nila sa email, okay? If you suspect that criminals have accessed the device of your elderly, immediately contact your bank to place protection on their accounts, okay? And even their uh, cell phone providers okay constantly monitor their accounts for any suspicious activities because more often than not ang tina-target ng mga cyber criminals na ito are yung bank accounts or yung credit card information of the elderly okay so uh, those are some of the things that uh, that we can do to protect our elderly from online scams and online and cyber criminals okay all right, so uh, uh, we have a few minutes, okay, uh, uh, regarding artificial intelligence and its benefits. We will talking about that. Uh, we'll be talking about that. Perhaps maybe if we have some time uh, tomorrow, but it's actually a series of things that we need to talk about regarding artificial intelligence. But uh, we will touch upon it maybe tomorrow to start the series for next week. Uh, uh, oh, a, a breakthrough in technology. All right. Okay. Okay. This 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 graphic is going to be a little bit graphic. All right. But it's a nice thing to know. Okay. Uh, in the field of medicine, though. Okay. In the field of medicine. Okay. Let me just get it. Don't be grossed out. Okay. Because it's a little bit gross. The picture. All right. But this is a breakthrough in, in in the medical world. All right. Okay, don't be grossed out. That is a kidney. Ta -da. That is a kidney that I'm showing here. Okay. Kid okay, oops. Can you believe it? That big kidney. Okay, all right. Okay, this is where I'm gonna put it. Big kidney works in human patient in potential uh, as a potential oh my goodness big kidney, big kidney works in human patients in potential miracle all right a u.s medical team okay all right a u.s medical team hold on a second this is a news of, from america a u.s medical team has succeeded in temporarily attaching a pig's kidney to a person. Can you believe it? Oh, what do you think about that? Ang gusto niyo ba yun na yung kidney niyo ay sa baboy, right? The, sur the surgery, which was carried out last September 25, involved a genetically modified donor animal and a brain-dead patient on a ventilator whose family had given permission for the two-day experiment. Oh my God, I got goosebumps! For the sake of advancing science, oh, okay. So a family donated also their 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 brain dead family member to be. So I'm so sorry for the term a guinea pig in this experiment. So, well, it did what it's supposed to do, which is remove waste and make urine. Exactly. All right. Robert Montgomery, director of the Transplant Institute at New York University, told. It, told this on an interview in an interview critically the organ was able to reduce the level of the molecule creatinine 
a key indicator of kidney health that was elevated in the patient prior to the transplant. Okay, Montgomery carried out the surgery with several colleagues over the course of around two hours. They joined the kidney to blood vessels on, on the top of one of the patient's legs so that they could observe it and take biopsy samples. The patient had wanted to be an or organ donor and their family was initially disappointed when told their loved one's organs were not suitable. But they felt a sense of relief that this was another opportunity for donation. Well, thank you. Thank you to this family because uh, it, it, it's actually a breakthrough, right? But they felt a sense of relief now that their, the, the body of, I mean the body, their, uh, their child was used in this experiment, okay, in this clinical trial. Uh, the patient was taken off the ventilator and passed away following the 54-hour test. Earlier research has shown that kidneys from pigs are viable in non-human primates for up to a year. Okay, so they have already transferred this, okay, to other, of course, other animals, and it worked. So they, it, it, uh, but this was the first time it had been attempted with a human patient. The donor pig belonged to a herd that had undergone a genetic editing procedure to knock out a gene that produces a particular sugar, which would otherwise have triggered a strong immune response and led to organ rejection. The editing was performed by biotech firm Re Revivicor, a subsidiary of the United Therapeutics. It is still a question what would happen three weeks from now after after they observe this surgery, okay? The only way we're really going to be able to answer this is to move this into a living human trial. But I think this is really important. And now they have done it, okay? He plans to submit the findings to a scientific journal in the next month and says a clinical trial could take place in around a year or two, okay? So this is not a clinical trial. This is just the first uh, salvo of a clinical trial because of the success or, or depending on the success of this uh, procedure. Uh, the news was welcomed cautiously by outside experts who nonetheless said they would like to see the peer-reviewed data before drawing firm conclusions. Okay. The news comes amid the dire shortage of transplant organs. Totoo naman. Kaya di ba yung mga nagbebenta ng kidney, ganyan, nauso yun. It became business because of the short, uh, shortage of transplant organs. According to official U.S. data, there are nearly 107,000 Americans awaiting an organ, 90,000 of whom need, need a kidney. This is, this is just in America. 17 Americans die each day, okay, each day while waiting for an organ. Okay, to meet this demand, doctors have long been interested in so-called xenotransplantation or cross-species organ donation with experiments tracing back to the 17th century, okay? So, yan ang breakthrough sa medical world. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today. I thank you very, very much, and I'm sorry. I apologize again for my for my uh, inability to go online on the right platform. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jorge Winiki. And it's also the anniversary of my mom's passing today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you for everyone who came and thank you Mala and Abby that went on board in my other platform. Happy, happy uh, Thursday to you guys and uh, enjoy your lunch. And of course, at the end of the day, please, only three things remain, should remain, and should always be in our hearts. Faith, hope, and love. Thank you very much for joining me and maraming maraming salamat po and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Inyong natuhayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broadstream Cast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.